Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Rash and welcome to week 4 of the Pokemon Speedruns Draft League. This is this was my match against FA Crazy and the uh, Jacksonville Jumbo Clots are as you can see, I'm doing uh, post comms this week, and honestly, I might be doing that moving forward. Uh, I feel like I just focus a little bit easier when I don't have to worry about commenting over every single thing that I've done. And, um, you know, it also allows me to get some extra thoughts in uh, after the fact uh, to make some notes for anybody who's watching. Um, so let's go ahead and just take a look at the teams really quick. So he brought uh, Landorus, Therian, uh, Megazard X, Comfey, uh, Nihilego, Scrafty, and uh, Seismitoad. So right off the bat, I kind of figured um, what most of the sets were going to be. So I pretty much guessed that Lando was going to be used as Revenge Killer this week. Uh, instead of Nihiligo, because Landorus has a plus matchup against Greninja, if it's Scarfed. So, I guess the Landorus is going to be Scarfed. I guess the um, Comfey was just going to be Calm Mind Stall. I anticipated Hidden Power Ice on it, um, although, in hindsight, might not have been the best guess. Uh, so I was guessing Calm Mind... Draining Kiss, Synthesis, Hidden Power Ice. Seismitoad, uh, looking at the, the rest of his team, I expected it to be more of a Breaker type, because other than that, he doesn't have anything that really strikes Claydol too terribly well, because Claydol does carry Dazzle, um, does have Dazzling Gleam to be able to counter Scrafty, and it outspeeds. So I expected that to be an offensive type uh, Seismitoad with like Scald, Ice Beam, I was thinking Sludge Wave and um, I couldn't figure out what the last move would be. So I kind of guessed Stealth Rocks based on the rest of his team because I anticipated Nihiligo to be more of like, a, well I expected Toxic Spikes once I saw the uh, Comb Fang. Uh, the Scrafty, I didn't know what to expect, I was, I was thinking Bulk Up, so I played it around like it was going to be Shed Skin Bulk Up. But uh, let's go ahead and figure out, or let's go ahead and dive into the match and uh, figure out what we were up against. So Trace Scarf Landorus, I was expecting uh, Dragon Dance Zard, uh, three attacks, Dragon Dance, three attacks. Uh, Comb Face Stall with uh, Calm Mind Draining Kiss. Um, Toxic Spikes Nihilego that also had like HP Ice Power Gem Sludge Wave, I think. Toxic Spikes, yes. Um, then. Uh, bulk up Scrafty and offensive uh, rocks uh, Seismitoad and you guys already know my team so uh, I went ahead and let out with Shuckle because I didn't expect anything on the team to really do much but because I am Resto Chesto instead of something like Mental Herb uh, I did know that it got Taunt but that wasn't my intention. My intention was just to trap it turn one and then start going ham with Shuckle. And that ends up being a really bad idea because it, it just enabled this thing to start getting set up really, really quickly. So uh, I decided my only other decent option against this was uh, Incineroar. So once the taunt wore off, I anticipated another taunt coming my way. So I just went out into Incineroar and started um, the next phase of chipping, uh, of chipping this thing down. Now originally I thought the item was uh, was Big Root because I saw how much HP was getting recovered off of it, but uh, I was wrong. That's just the fact that uh, it's got so much. Uh, so little HP. That's why uh, Comfey was gaining so much back. So I don't know why this is a, a lapse in judgment completely. Um, I would have killed with Incineroar the next turn, and it wouldn't have killed me. But I went out into Sylveon. Sylveon was incredibly important for this match, and so was Shuckle. I wanted to keep them as healthy as possible for Zard-Lando combo. Um, 
And for some reason, I'm just really blanking and really falling behind in this match. Um, so it probably should have been over at this point. I should have lost. Just straight up 6-0 to the Comfey because I didn't play around it at all. But uh, luckily for me on this turn, um, I get smiled upon and I managed to get a crit. Uh, that crit mattered heavily. And uh, this turns me into setup fodder for the Nihilego. I go out into my best switch in, which is the Clay Doll, but he gets a little form of instant revenge in a form of Sludge Wave Poison. I decide to go for my rocks to kind of prevent Zard from wanting to switch around, but uh, he just starts setting out with Dragon Dances without Mega Evolving. Uh, so bad play on my part to go for the Earth Power. Now Charizard's a really huge problem. I decide to try and sack in my the Schwartz to um, try and bait the Mega to come out and then pivot into Shuckle because my best way of beating uh, this Charizard is to Toxic Stall it. <laughs> so um, go for the Toxic and then try and wear him down with the Recoil. Um, I figured because I showed Protect he would anticipate some wishes, so I expected him to keep hitting me every single turn. So that's why I keep going for the Protects here, because it's my best way of chipping it. Now I know that, uh, it, sorry, Landorus is still out there, and pretty much, uh, pretty much nothing uh, else on the team Incineroar checks at the HP that it's at. So I figured that uh, Sylveon was going to be my better option, but I make a misplay here and instead of going for the Protect and scouting what he's going to do, I just went ahead and sacked the Sylveon. Now again, I'm still guessing that things, this thing was Choice Scarfed, so I go out in a Zygarde and my thought is, alright, I'm going to get up a couple of Dragon Dances and all will be fine. So he goes on out into Scrafty, which I'm still thinking is bulk up. Up until I see the Intimidate, and then I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what set this is. I still, um, I want to set up one more time, so that way I can nuke this and, uh, Landorus with my Dragonium Z. But he's Choice Banded Ice Punch, which is the one set that could take out my Zygarde. And after the match, uh, FN Crazy told me, that he literally, and I quote, drafted something in the lower tiers that would be able to counter Zygarde. He literally drafted a mon for a team in the opposite division just to beat a single mon. And if that isn't respect, I don't know what is. So uh, at this point, match is pretty much over. I mean, there's there's a chance um, depending on what moves he's carrying if he decides to swap out Scrafty or, or whatnot. So I tried to see if he would switch out but he doesn't really fear the Gallade. So I just uh, go ahead and kill him with the Drain Punch. And uh, I would have lived any other Scarf Landorus hit uh, <laughs> if he didn't have the explosion. And then it would have been just relentless stall type um, I don't know if I could out damage the uh, the seismitoad enough but um, yeah I just there was nothing left he with the explosion that that won him the game so crucial misplaying around the comfey let my defensive core get weakened to the point where uh, Charizard was able to weaken the rest and then uh, he was able to just clean up with the rest of his mons, but really good prep on Crazy's part, especially with that Scrafty. That was uh, a thing of beauty right there, actually, uh, even though it was designed specifically to counter me. Um, but again, if that isn't respecting a mon and respecting a player, I don't know what is. Landorus was a good set. Uh, Seismitoad ended up being... Uh, kind of offensive. I think he actually brought Hydro Pump and Sludge Bomb, which uh, wasn't too far off of what I was expecting uh, based on the rest of his team. But Taunt on um, 
taunt on Comfe was uh, something that kind of threw me off guard. Otherwise, I was going to be able to chip it down with Toxic. So I knew that it got the move, but it wasn't what I was expecting him. Expecting him to bring. Uh, Charizard was as expected, except he ended up bringing Roost instead of Earthquake. So Incineroar was a better switch in with it. But unfortunately, it was also my only answer to Comfe. So good on, uh, good on Crazy. He brought fantastic team this week. Even though, uh, had I done a better thing with Gallade, um, it might have, might have been okay. But again, Explosion Landers, nothing you could do about that. So yeah, that's gonna be the match for this week. Uh, GG to FN Crazy, crazy prep in my opinion. Great job. And I will see y'all next week for my team builder. Peace.